Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, Ndombi, welcome. So, um, we are looking at a situation where your employer is not accredited by SEMA as a training office for experience. Yeah. Yeah. And yet yeah. you are in pursuit of your SEMA qualification, right? Now we at yeah. Naftali yeah. Holdings do offer mentorship to students like you. Then we assist in signing of your experience, right? However, one thing that you must know is unlike SEMA, unlike SAIKA or SAIPA, right? Or ACCA, SEMA does accept work experience from a non SEMA accredited um, institution as long as your experience uh, is in line with the practical experience requirement from SEMA. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes. So okay. what we can just do, right, is perhaps to assist you with what SEMA requires yeah. in such okay. a way that your employer can give you the much needed experience right and in our mentorship right in our mentorship we can assist to sign for you to say we are aware that uh Ndombi Kaise has acquired this this much experience right but if the employer cannot give you uh all the experience that you need we can assist by bridging whatever is outstanding so that you can get that much experience that you need. Okay. And then how would that bridging process like work? We carry out a diagnosis of what you are getting from your employer. Okay. Your previous experience and whatever you will get right and then we'll assist you uh, with whatever additional experience you need like for instance most companies might be but now with your position that you are uh, a governance strategy and risk consultant at mothers it means that you cover um, the supplementary experience that SEMA right, uh, the supplementary and the basic experience. But you might not have the core experience. I'm not sure where you started from because SEMA has got core, basic and supplementary experience, mm -hmm. right? Of which your core experience, your basic experience, sorry, should contribute about 18 months. Okay. okay. Right. Of which those are the pre preliminary, uh, that's the preliminary experience in accounting, like your ledgers, mm -hmm. oh, you know, your, okay. your normal um, junior level kind of work. Okay. Right. So now if you do not have that, we will put you through a mentorship program whereby we assist you. Okay. Right. Uh, over and above, we do not only assist you from, an acad from a professional point of view, but also from an academic point of view, because these are two separate companies. There's Naftali Holdings, which assists, which is accredited by SEMA as a, as a, as a premium right uh, training office quality partner with SEMA to provide work experience and then we've got ISAF or the Institute of Strategy Accountants and Finance which can assist you now to give you um, your postgraduate um, 
qualification through teaching you. I'm the one who takes all the lectures. Can, I can give you videos so that you can go through them and see, right? We also assist you with the guidance of the assignments, right? We do not do assignments for you. What we do is we do the assignments together in class. You write on your own. Give me your scripts for review. We do a one-on-one -on -one session like we are doing now. You, re, you um, fix whatever needs fixing, then you submit, right? Your lecturers mark, you get good marks, right? And then we assist you also with examination preparation. That's what we do. Okay. So all our lectures are recorded. There's also a portal that students have access to. It's an online portal. And this online portal, you, you can access videos, you can access our notes, right? Uh, you can also access the assignment guidance and the revisions of past exam papers, right? And then we also have videos. So um, we normally have very good year marks for all our students. None of our students last year had a, 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 a year mark less than 65%. Wow, that's amazing. Yes, it is. Because we try to make sure that all our students uh, get very good marks because of the process that we go through. Firstly, it's guidance. You write, you submit, we review, we discuss it together, right? And then you redo and submit. Okay, okay. So that's what we do for our students. And um, not only do we end there, ISAF is also accredited with SEMA as a tuition provider. Oh, I was actually just about to ask. <laughs> yes, we are, right? So we are the only company that has dual accreditation, both as training partner and tuition provider. Okay. Right, in Africa. Okay, that's really amazing. Yes. And Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. And not only that, your lecturer also is, has been for the past two years, right? Excluding this year, which possibly might be the third year, is the youngest fellow of SEMA in Africa. Wow. 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 That's amazing. That's really amazing. Yes. Only by God's grace, eh? Honestly, honestly, definitely. So, um, we've also had online presence even before COVID struck, right? We had these videos. Uh, COVID only came as a stamp and to even give us more roots to be established. Okay, so um, with um, I will send you also a video we, with our SEMA program. We have a good relationship with our students and we ensure that all students are happy. We constantly have reviews, we constantly have guidance and students can propose also what they want us to do for them and we do it. Mm, okay. So we have a unique learning approach. I'll send you a video. I just had a video uh, with the students earlier on where I was asking them what they want, what they think we can do better, prepare them for the exam in May. Mm -hmm. 
So we are trying to make sure that you guys uh, are, are treated well. And not only that, we are in the process now of applying to become a university. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, because we want to offer our own qualifications. We have mm -hmm. currently, we have what is known as the ICE of Accelerated Route, where learners from high school can start with us into the SEMA program, into SICA, right? Uh, with a master's degree, plus work experience. Wow, sure. Yes. That's so, amazing. Thank you, thank you. So it, it's not an easy road. Yeah, yeah. Not an easy road at all, but nevertheless, uh, we can say Ebenezer, God has brought us thus far. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I know more is coming as long as he leads then we can achieve whatever we, we desire. Definitely, definitely. So I did, I was a bit honestly like skeptical when I took the SEMA route because ah, you know how people are, oh my goodness, it's worse than Saika. Are you sure you wanna do this? You have like 10 million board exams, are you sure? And in my head, I was just like, at some point I even thought that like, what am I doing the right thing? Like because a lot of the people around me took the the cycle route i was on the cycle route as well before i realized that it's not i really think we all me. started from there <laughs> <laughs> yeah we all I started from no, there yeah. external audit no it's not my cup of tea and yeah. that's when i ended up doing my research and i realized that this is the route that I really wanted to go because I realized in my final year that I developed a love for management, accounting and finance. And I was like, what can I do with that? And then when I started doing my research, I found out about SEMA. And then a lot of people were just like, but like, why would you want to do that to yourself? And I was like, you know what, God willing, I'm going to go there and I'm going to get it done. Come hello, high waters, it's going to happen. So I do think, like you said, yes, it's not easy, especially like also if you're working a full-time job, you're working nine to five, you still have to study. There's life on top of that. But like you're saying with your students, the most important thing is having that support. I feel like if you have adequate support, you can you can, you can make it happen. You'll definitely that's make right, it that's happen. That's very true. Yeah. So trust me, you've not you've made the right decision. Um Currently, with once you're done with your postgrad, you will write the management case study exam, right? Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you will register with us. We will give you all the support you need. Uh, last year, the students we had are with us for SEMA now, mm -hmm. and even many are with us for SEMA, right? Once you are done with your management case study, we put you through what is known as the financial learning program, right? Which catapults you directly to the strategic case study exam. What? <laughs> really? Really. Whoa, okay. <laughs> yes. So you don't write any objective tests. It's just your management case study, then your strategic case study. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that, that I can imagine how amazing it is to not write the objective test, but I'm thinking of like the preparation there. I don't know, there's something about the strategic case study that makes me nervous, but yeah. No, you don't have to be. Fortunately, okay, for me, right, I was not as privileged as many of you are in the sense that I could not afford to pay for classes at the time when I was studying towards my SEMA qualification, okay. right? I was already a family man with a daughter, right? Um, actually with two daughters then, right? Mm -hmm. When I started studying towards the SEMA qualification, right? But it took me two years from operational to strategic. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, I remember I wrote my objective tests for the operational case for the operational level. 
in two weeks, right? I wrote a Monday, a Wednesday, and a Monday. Wow. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, not to say that I'm any super intelligent than many, but I worked hard. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. All right. I worked hard. And in two years, I was done with the SEMA qualification, qualified. And I, I was working. I had extensive experience, you know, as a CFO as well. Then went mm -hmm. into, uh, applied to become a fellow, became a fellow. I was supposed to be the youngest fellow ever in Africa, right? But they delayed my, my license. Wow. Yes, they delayed my license. So I'm so I became the, the second youngest ever. Okay. All right. But I was supposed to be the youngest ever. Mm -hmm. But I became the second youngest ever. But currently I'm still the youngest fellow in Africa, right? because I do have the experience and um, I worked hard for it, mm, mm, mm. right? So in order for, 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 for us now to assist you well, we also need your support as students yeah. in doing your work as and when you are asked to do the work, mm. right? Um, our company mostly focuses as much as we do accounting and all that, but we mostly also focus on strategy. We focus in majors and acquisitions, corporate finance and business rescue, right? So that is our focus. And the SEMA route itself, right? To me, SEMA is not an accountancy qualification at all. Mm -hmm. But SEMA is a strategic qualification. And uh, with, with in-depth financial knowledge, right? So it's like an MBA in finance, mm -hmm. right? Now, one thing I can bet is with SEMA, there's no MBA that can be equate to SEMA globally. SEMA is more powerful than any MBA you can ever have. Really? Yes. There's no MBA that can, uh, can be better than the SEMA qualification. I'm not discrediting MBA qualifications. They are good right? But if you are a SEMA member with extensive SEMA knowledge and understanding, sit in the boardroom, there's nothing that can be spoken that you don't know of. Mm. Nothing. Because the SEMA qualification is a very powerful strategic qualification that also gives you detailed exposure in risk management in governance, right? In ethics, right? In finance and in every aspect of the business, all right? So I see a limitation with the SEMA office, right? There is a limitation with the SEMA office because they market SEMA as an accountancy qualification. Whereas SEMA is a broad MBA. Mm -hmm. You get the sense? Now, yeah, yeah. a SEMA member can work in marketing. A SEMA member can work in human resources management. A SEMA member can work in operations and in any department, which makes SEMA an MBA qualification. But an MBA qualification that's more deep because with MBAs, you do surface studying. Mm. But with SEMA, you go in depth with concepts. All right. Mm. So as much as there is limitation in terms of 
um, sales development of the SIMA qualification in South yeah. Africa and across the globe, SIMA remains a respectable, a respectable qualification. All right. And as it remains a respectable qualification, I think you actually made the right choice. And you can still go back to SICA anyway. Because once you have SIMA, you just write your board one ITC, mm -hmm. right? And you become a SIMA member. You become a SICA member. Really? Just one board? Just one board. Wow, okay. And then it must really be powerful if you just need one exam to get a whole you just need one exam and You just need one exam. And if you have done your articles, right? You automatically write one board exam and become a CA. But if you have not done articles like me, once you write your ITC, you need to be assessed and then you can get your your uh, psycha uh, membership oh okay yes for 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 some if you've got less than five years sima membership experience you need to do two years of articles okay oh okay okay right you need to do two years of articles. but if you've got ex extensive experience like me and at least five years of sima membership experience post SIMA membership experience, then you can apply, be assessed, right? Assessed by a SIMA, a psycho training office. They sign off for you that you are competent enough. Then you are a CASA as well. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Yeah, so all is not lost, but and your journey is start is just starting you've or you already have that uh super duper title attached to your name right as in uh governance strategy and risk consultant that's that's not a small thing that that is big thank that you is big. now now at the heart of the sima qualification is the driving of organizational strategy, mm -hmm. right? And how you drive strategy, you need to have eyes on every aspect of the business. And that's what SEMA does. It gives you a holistic or 360 degree view of the business and ensures that you actually understand the business and everything associated with it and gives you the much needed experience that you need. Mm -hmm. Right? So that is the position. And um, going forward, I need to, to see your job description and I would need your CV also of okay. what you have. I think I've asked you to send me your CV before. Oh, yes, I, I did. Which and then. Did. Which you did. Sorry, may I, may I take this call just a moment? No problem. Um, I guess.